Hello friends, I am CMA Ratna here. We are on the third series that is CMA Intermediate DT MCQ Solvings. See in the previous previous video we have solved till 20 problems that is 20 MCQs. From 21st to 30 MCQs will be covered in this video. Right? We will start. This is 21st question. The tax payable by C everyone pay attention this is payable by resident individual for non-resident individual the treatment is different so it is a resident individual if a long-term capital gain is 2,60,000 rupees what is the capital gain long-term capital gain he got 2,60,000 rupees but for the individuals the basic exemption limit is how much basic exemption limit is up to up to 2,50,000 rupees let's assume he is below 60, 000, 60 years age so 10,000 rupees is a taxable one at what rate 5 percentage is nothing but how much 10,000 into 5 percentage is nothing but 500 rupees but this person is a resident individual this re person resident individual being a resident individual this person is eligible for rebate under section rebate under section 87a what is saying under section 87a tax liability are 12500 whichever is lower will be exempted it means he is not required to pay any tax none of the above is a right answer he is a resident individual if he is a non-resident the treatment is different i am telling you a winning a winning from lottery is 50000 rupees and expenses incurred to earn such income rupees 5000 rupees see in simple language if you are earning any income through casual income any income like a casual income no expenditure is allowed so i can say expenditure allowed is nil no expenditure is allowed for the casual incomes expenditure nil and taxable amount is fifty thousand rupees entire amount is taxable expenditure allowed is nil right next one net salary after deducting tax at source ten thousand rupees is two lakh fifty the amount of taxable salary what he is saying net salary after deducting 10,000 rupees as a TDS is this much means 2,50,000 rupees you have already got and 10,000 rupees the employer has deducted TDS it means your net taxable salary is 2,60,000 rupees amount of deduction in respect of the donation to the approved scientific institution under section 80 GGA 100% of such a donation agricultural land located in a rural area is not a capital asset not a capital asset you should not say exempted from capital asset you should say that is a not that is not a capital asset right tds under section 193 193 in respect of the interest on securities if payee does not furnish pan see if the pan is furnished that is 10 percentage not furnished no pan not furnished pan that is a maximum 20 percentage no 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 i'm sorry this if pan is not uh, furnished then maximum amount is how much mmr if pan is not furnished and this section section 193 is only applicable for the resident for non-resident this section is not applicable for that there is another section income of public charitable trust registered under section 12a it is a exempted income the number of income computation and disclosure standards that is icds issued so far how many 10 expenditure in expenditure in respect of the winning of winnings from the card games i told you just now any income you are getting as a casual income no expenditure is allowed can say directly no not deductible no expenditure is allowed tax payable by a non-resident individual he has a long-term capital gain is this one see in the previous uh, previous one just five minutes two minutes before we have discussed if the person is resident what was the tax uh, treatment but here the person is a non-resident if the person is non-resident then no basic exemption limit in terms of the capital gain I will tell you in the simple words, no basic exemption limit, basic exemption limit for non-resident in terms of the long-term capital gains. It means what? 
he has to pay 20% flat on this 2 lakh 60000 how much 2 lakh 60000 into 20 percentage is nothing but 52000 has to pay being a non resident if this person would have resident then he would have paid zero he would have paid zero as a tax liability means tax liability was zero if the person was resident but here the person is non resident he has to pay uh, on the total amount 2 lakh 60000 into 20 percentage that is 52000 right thank you